they are majestic ocean travelers. Sea turtles, as old as dinosaurs. There are seven types of them and six at risk of disappearing. They spend most of their life in the ocean, swimming thousands of kilometers to migrate every year. Ripley's Aquarium of Canada rescued two of them in 2013. And I've come to meet them. Okay, here you go. Perfect. <laughs> this is where I'm about to go off limits. This green sea turtle duo is Spot and Chewy. They are both over 200 pounds, and at 25 years old, they are just adolescents in a turtle lifespan. Cassandra Pierce is a biologist, an aquarist, and their biggest fan. I love being an aquarist because I can spend every day with Spot and Chewy. An aquarist is someone who looks after animals in all aspects. So we take care of them, we feed them, and we clean the tanks for them. Today, Cassandra is teaching me just one of her jobs, feeding these giant marine creatures. Okay, so this is the kitchen where we do all of the food prep. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of vegetables here. Um, Spot and Chewy mainly get veggies in their diet. They also get some protein as well. So I have some squid and some mahi for them today. In the first part of its life, the green sea turtle is an omnivore. But as it gets older, eats strictly plants. In the wild, that would be seagrass and algae. Here, it's a little different. They each get a couple heads of lettuce, and then we like to mix it up with different vegetables. We've got peppers, spinach, cucumber, Brussels sprouts, and their favorite, which is yams. You don't find these in the water, so why do you have? Why are you feeding these to sea tur turtles? So we know that the sea turtles, they need different nutrients in their diet, and of course, we can't really get them um, seagrass in bulk, so we give them different vegetables. So wait, so sea turtles have favorite foods? Definitely, yes. Spot's favorite is definitely yams. She loves anything orange she'll eat. With veggies and seafood prepped, we head to the tanks. I learned that sea turtles are pretty smart. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up their targets. So they both know different colors. So Spot knows to go to yellow and Chewy knows to go to blue. How do they so, know to go there? Uh, they've been trained for this for nine years now, so it took a lot of practice, but they're really, really good at it now. And there's a dinner bell. They're gonna hear this under the water, and that's their cue that it's time to eat. So this is Spot coming in now. We like to put the food right in front of the target for her. That way she can see it. Could she bite your fingers? Yes, uh, so that's something we have to be very careful with. So their beaks are really sharp because they use them in the wild to scrape algae off of rocks. So if you would like, um, you are welcome to give her some lettuce. I would, I'm a little scared though. Is there a specific <laughs> technique? So I would say for you, just drop it in and she'll do the rest. So we won't get our hands too close to her. Okay, here you go. Perfect. <laughs> Spot and Chewy arrived at Ripley's Aquarium as part of a plan to rehome sea turtles that would find it difficult to safely live in the wild. Contact for them with humans is normal. One of the really awesome parts about this job is we can pet sea turtles because of course in the wild you would never do that. You always want to respect the wildlife. But we know that Spot and Chewy love the attention. So we like to scratch her shell so she can actually feel that. Wow. <laughs> it feels a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be more smooth than that. Yeah, so their shells are very hard. It's good protection against predators. Cassandra's path to becoming an aquarist included a lot of scuba diving and a Bachelor of Science. 
So as part of your training, you got to go to Fiji. Can you tell me more? That was actually through the University of Guelph. I studied abroad there, which was really awesome. Of course, I love doing tropical marine bio. That's why I love working with the sea turtles. So it was a really cool opportunity. How did you get so interested in sea turtles? I've always just felt kind of a connection to them, and I seem to understand that I know that they're in danger, so I want to do my part um, to care for the ones that we have and to educate people about what they can do to kind of help the species as a whole.